Ever tried upgrading to a faster SSD but dreaded reinstalling Windows drivers and every app you use? Or maybe your old hard drive is dying and you want a quick way to copy everything without losing a byte? That's exactly what I'll show you today. How to clone your entire Windows system, apps, files, and settings using a tool called EaseUS Disk Copy. It's fast, simple, and way more reliable than starting from scratch. Let's get straight into how it works and why it's worth using. Let's be real. Most of us don't want to reinstall Windows unless we absolutely have to. It's time consuming and frustrating. You have to back everything up, reinstall apps, reconfigure settings, and sometimes even lose files. Now imagine this, you just bought a new SSD. It's faster, more reliable, but your current hard drive has all your stuff. With EaseUS Disk Copy, you can literally make a clone of your existing disk. Bootable, identical, no reinstall needed. It's also useful if your current drive is showing signs of failure like bad sectors, random slowdowns, or corrupt files. Cloning lets you move your system before it fully crashes. Or maybe you just want to upgrade to a bigger drive. Whatever your case, EaseUS Disk Copy simplifies the entire process. EaseUS Disk Copy is a dedicated disk cloning software for Windows PCs. It's built specifically to help you migrate or back up your entire system or specific partitions. You can copy an entire disk, or just the OS, your choice, it works with HDDs, SSDs, SATA, NVMe, and even external USB drives. The big advantage? You don't need to reinstall Windows. You don't even need technical skills. The interface is simple and step-by-step. -step. It also supports cloning to larger drives, so you can easily move your entire setup to a new disk with more space. No formatting, no reinstalling. It's ideal for home users, tech enthusiasts, and even IT pros who want a reliable cloning solution. Before you start cloning, there are a few things to get ready. First, back up your data. Cloning is safe, but it's always good to be cautious. Second, check the size of your new disk. It should be equal to or larger than the one you're cloning. If it's smaller, the process might fail. Third, connect your new SSD or HDD to your computer. You can use a SATA to USB adapter an external enclosure, or an available NVMe slot. Once that's done, you're ready to launch EaseUS Disk Copy and begin the process. Let's walk through the actual steps so you can see how it works from start to finish. Let's walk through the exact steps to clone your drive using EaseUS Disk Copy. I'll cover everything you'll see on screen, so even if you're doing this for the first time, you'll know exactly what to click and what to expect. Before starting, make sure your new drive is connected, either through SATA, USB adapter, or an NVMe slot. Also, download and install EaseU Disk Copy from the link in the description. Step one, open EaseUS Disk Copy. The interface is clean. You'll immediately see two main options, disk mode and partition. Disk mode is for cloning the full drive mode, operating system, files, partitions, boot sector, everything. Partition mode is for cloning just one section, like your C drive. For most people upgrading their main system, disk mode is the better choice. Step two, now select your source disk. This is your current system drive, the one that has your operating system, apps, and personal files. It might be labeled as disk zero or have the Windows logo beside it. Double check before proceeding. Step three. Next, select the target disk. This is the new SSD or HDD where you want everything copied. Make absolutely sure you choose the correct one because this drive will be erased during the process. Step four, you'll see a checkbox called sector by sector clone. If you turn this on, it will copy every single sector from the original drive even unused ones. This creates a perfect 111 copy, but takes longer and uses more space. For most users, you can leave it off to speed things up. Step five, click next. A pop-up will warn you that all data on the target disk will be wiped. Confirm only if you're sure you've selected the correct drive and backed up anything important. Step six, click proceed. The software will now start the cloning process you'll see a progress bar showing how much is completed. 
If you're using fast drives, it might finish in 10-15 minutes. Slower drives or large disks could take an hour or more. During cloning, avoid heavy multitasking or unplugging anything. When it's done, you'll get a confirmation message. Now you have a complete bootable copy of your old system, identical in every way. No reinstalling windows, no setup screens, just shut down, swap the drive if needed, and you're ready to boot from your new disk. Now that the cloning process is complete, your next step is swapping out the drives. Let's start with desktops. Shut down your PC completely. Not restart, full power off. Unplug it from the wall. Safety first. Open the case side panel. Most desktops have a screw-on or latch type cover. Locate the old hard drive, typically a 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch SATA drive. Unscrew it from the mounting bracket and disconnect both the SATA data and power cables. Now take your newly cloned drive, whether it's a 2.5 inch SSD or a 3.5 inch HDD, and install it in the same spot. Reconnect the same cables. Close the case, plug the power cable back in and boot the machine. If you're using an NVMe SSD, it'll be installed directly on the motherboard. In that case, just remove the old NVMe from the M2 slot, install the new one, and screw it into place. Now for laptops. Power off and unplug the device. Flip the laptop over and remove the screws from the back panel. Carefully pop the panel off. You'll see a small 2.5 inch drive or an M2 NVMe. Gently disconnect and remove the old drive. Insert the new one in the same spot and reassemble the laptop. Now boot the system. If everything was cloned correctly, your PC should start exactly the same. Same desktop, same icon scenes, and same browser tabs, no setup screens. You won't even notice you're running on a different drive, except it's probably faster now. Once you've verified everything works, you can format your old drive and use it for backup, games, or as extra storage. EaseUS Disk Copy handled the heavy lifting. You're done. Here are a few practical ways you can use EaseUS Disk Copy. If you're running out of space, you can move everything from your current drive to a bigger one. No need to reinstall Windows or any apps. If your system is on a slow SATA drive, you can clone it directly to a faster SSD or NVMe and keep all your settings and files exactly as they are. It's also a good option if you want a full system backup, not just documents or media, but a working bootable copy of your entire Windows installation. If anything goes wrong, you can plug in that backup drive and boot like nothing happened. Another use case. If you're setting up a new PC and want to skip reinstalling and reconfiguring everything, just clone your existing system over. You don't need any special skills to do this. The interface is simple and the steps are clearly laid out. There's also a free trial, so you can test it yourself before buying. Just download it and see how it works for your setup. Let's talk briefly about the paid features. With the paid plan, you get full disk and system cloning sector by sector copy for precise duplication. Support for different partition schemes like MBR to GPT priority technical support. And free updates during your subscription compared to other tools like Acronis or Macrium. EaseUS is competitively priced, especially with the monthly option. Also, it works well even on complex setups, like if you have multiple partitions, dual boot systems, or encrypted drives. And yes, you can clone to external USB drives or clone directly to NVMe without needing to format or tweak BIOS settings. You're paying for convenience and speed. If you're someone who builds PCs or helps others upgrade their systems, the paid version is definitely worth it. I've tested it with SATA to NVMe migrations, and it handled it smoothly. No issues booting, no driver conflicts. That wraps up this breakdown of EaseUS disk copy. If you're planning any kind of upgrade or system move, Having a tool that gets it done without drama makes a difference. This one does that. The download link is in the description. There's a free trial. No credit card, no commitment. Just install it, run a clone, and see if it works for your setup. You'll find everything you need linked and pinned. And yeah, using that link helps support the channel. If this helped, they give it a like so more people can find it. And hit subscribe if you're into practical tools that just work. No filler, no hype. Got a specific tool or workflow you want covered next? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for sticking around. I'll catch you in the next one.
This is Harbor of Tech, signing off.